In this video, I'm going to test the new Wacom Intros Creative Pen Tablet. I have the medium black edition, which should cost around 200 euros. It comes with a USB cable and a 4K pen. The pen has three replacement nibs, which is great, but I've personally never had to replace any Wacom nibs before. Compared to the Bamboo and the Cintiq 13 HD pen, this one is a little thinner and smaller, but still pretty comfortable to use. Part of the new design are the express keys on top of the tablet, which function as a pen tray. This is how I assigned the shortcuts for my test run. I use Windows 10 and the driver works perfectly fine with it. However, my laptop is too old to support Bluetooth, so I've also tried the tablet on a newer laptop. The setup was pretty easy and straightforward. In the end, you have a Wacom desktop center for all kinds of handy stuff. In general, I really like the design. It's thin, light, and doesn't take up unnecessary space on the table. My only two pet peeves are the missing eraser on the pen and the position of the express keys. You can still use the eraser with shortcuts and to be honest, I don't use the express keys that much on a pen tablet, but I use them a lot on my Cintiq and I like having them on the side since that's more comfortable for me. My favourite part is definitely the surface texture. It used to be very smooth and glassy on the very old Intuos, or even on the Cintiq, but now it has a really organic feel to it, almost like real paper. I like working on this surface more than on the Cintiq, that's for sure. I also wanted to try out the built-in Bluetooth function, so I borrowed my dad's laptop. Seems like a good solution, right? Most new devices should be able to handle Bluetooth, but it turned out that my laptop was way too old for that, yeah, which is mildly embarrassing, but, but yeah, that's okay, we're just going to roll with that. This is the first time I got to use a drawing tablet without unnecessary cables. I really like working wirelessly, it makes your working space a lot less crowded. Also, you can try out a bunch of different sitting positions to get more comfortable while drawing. The new 4K pen has increased pressure levels and higher accuracy. I might just be getting old, but compared to the old pen tablets, it really feels way more accurate and sensitive. Also, when you're not drawing, the pen can be used for scrolling, which yeah, I found pretty convenient at times. I'm testing my dad's laptop with GIMP, but the new Intuos actually comes with three creative softwares. You have the choice between Painter Essential 6, Clip Studio Paint Pro, and Coral Aftershot 3. I've been using Clip Studio Paint for almost 90% of my work, so it was a no-brainer for me which program to pick. It's really good for comic work, especially when it comes to sketching and line work. Painting works well enough too, depending on what brushes you use, so overall I would highly recommend Clip Studio Paint. Also, I want to recommend Red Juice's brush set for Clip Studio Paint. You can download it for free on his Deviant Art page, so just look it up and you'll be ready to go. Brushes are pretty easy to install. I really like to use the watercolour thigh brush, but I also really like using the custom brushes Clip Studio Paint already has. Sketching works pretty well with the pen tablet. The pressure sensitivity is great, and the line comes out like I want it to. Well, that's unless I have a shaky hand, but that's another issue entirely.
Line work was a bit tricky for me, since it's much easier to do accurate line work when you draw directly on the screen, but you can get used to it with some practice. One time, I drew a whole black and white comic with a pen tablet, so we know it's possible. Other artists have done it, but it can make your life easier if you do get to draw directly on the surface. I myself started in 2008 with the Intuos 3 pen tablet, which at the time cost almost twice as much as the new Intuos, and even though the working area was the same size, the whole tablet used to be twice as big, so that really makes a difference. In 2011, I got the cheap bamboo pen and touch to be more portable, but I didn't actually end up using it all that much. Right now, what I use is the Cintiq 13 HD, and I really like drawing on the screen. It's one of the smallest pen displays you can get, but eventually I got used to the size and it, it works fine. I still like to use Photoshop for painting since I accumulated a ton of neat brushes there, but I've recently been using Clip Studio Paint for painting more and more and I enjoy it a lot. It's just really a matter of knowing your tools well enough, I can't understate that. Getting used to drawing on a pen tablet takes some practice, but it's not all that hard. It's a lot less expensive than a pen display and it's perfect for people just starting out with digital art. I've personally never used anything other than Wacom products, so I can't say much about the competition at this point. of people starting out with digital art today. You get a lot better quality for less money than when I started with digital art almost 10 years ago. The new Intuos seems like a pretty good pen tablet for anyone starting out or looking for a good portable pen tablet. So all in all, good luck and happy drawing.